studying never stops. It really never stops. So the schedule for my finals is first exam is going to be in less than a month away. So on the 13th of January. My second exam is going to be on the 15th. My third is exam is going to be on the 21st. My last exam is going to be on February the 1st. Every year I have Christmas break to study for exams and it really sucks. I don't really do the things they want to do without guilt of not studying. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Right now I'm re reading The Unhabitable Earth, Life After Warming by David Wallace Wells because we do want to improve our culture and it's not all about college, okay? So I got some questions here that I printed last night. These are the goods. This year, I want to do some, something a little bit different than last year because last year, I thought to myself, I'm just going to study the material, try to study everything, and then a few days before the exam, I'll go through the questions and figure out what is high yield. I think what is even smarter is do the questions first, even if you don't know anything. Guide your studying through what you thought is high yield. I just have 10 questions left. Today there was an extra class for vascular surgery in the morning and it was so good. Looking at the questions and what he was explaining, it was really like evident to me that he was trying to like help us.
Even if the sky is falling down can see these are for two exams. I have four exams but I'm focusing on these two and then later I'll focus on the other two. Because there are ten I want to go through really closely on this first week and then on the days coming towards the exam which is going to be on Wednesday I'll hopefully be able to revise things a little bit quicker and go through exams and Anki flashcards. This is how much I've gone through which is really not a lot at all. But I'm gonna go through exams, material, Anki flashcards, and then go through them again and thrice if I have the time to. Just a nice bullet journal spread makes things so much more bearable. It's a nice thing to look at. Also, this is a spread that I did for the 30 day yoga journey with Adrian. Today is day four. I was just trying to memorize this opening blank pages on fee note. You know, I covered the question and I wrote it down and then I wrote it again until I could do it from memory. Now I'm going to see more questions and study more material and create more of these sheets. elbows rest on the ground so if they're into the mat we have begun you've hit play you've arrived so rather than just doing the gestures the poses it really is an art of listening listening and responding
I didn't finish pneumology last night, so I have to finish that. My spreadsheet, I'm very proud of it. I'm very proud. It is so, so cold today. It is extremely cold. 